and welcome into Robin's Room Readings. Thank you so much, babes. I appreciate you for being here. Everyone who comes in, I wish you joy, healing, mercy, happiness, and abundance. But most of all, I wish you love. I'm going to do a really interesting reading for the collective right now. Or up my sage over here. Welcome into the channel. If you get this reading, you must be meant to get it. I'm going to be doing a little uh, reading on judgment and those who are quick to cast judgment. As above, so below, everything in holy has got to go. The light of God surrounds us, the love of God unfolds us, the power of God protects us, and the presence of God watches over us. Where we are, God is. So it is. All right, loves. So here's what the spirit guides have me look at today. This beautiful little flower. I got some gladiolas, so I popped a flower. But uh, well, red is a good number for stabilizing your um, commitments, to uh, stabilizing your contracts, grounding yourself, you know, finding your, your tribe and staying with them. All right, Holy Spirit, we ask you for divine guidance for the collective, please. I'd like for you to show me what's going on in the collective's energy and why these people have to sit here and play judge. Let's see where it is. I just want to get these good and shuffled here. Holy Spirit, utilizing the energies of air, fire, water, earth, and ether. I'm calling in the collective divine right now. Angelics, high, high vibrational beings, representation of the most high. All right, let's see what happens. Collective sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, north, wherever you are, wherever you are. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> All right, here's what I got for you. <clears throat> now, these are the archetype cards that came from my Carolyn Nice deck, and I pull these out often when I'm trying to find the identity of whoever's working against you or who's coming in for you. I think they're wonderful, they're powerful, and they're accurate. So this may or may not relate to you. Take what you need and leave the rest. And I greatly appreciate you hitting the like button so that this channel can be found, also this video itself, or you never know who's going to benefit. I mean, yeah, if we're all for one, we, we do that. So here's what they showed me. Spirit showed me this, my loves. So the judgment character is that of offering only destructive criticism, misusing business, legal, or criminal authority. So many of you have fallen prey to this kind of energy where they have power, but they misuse it. Let's find out who that applies to. Who's doing that to you? So who's doing that to you? Who's doing that? Who's playing judge here by misusing legal documents and um, a, dis a corrupt judge? The corrupt judge. Show me the corrupt judge. Spirit, show me the corrupt judge. Who's standing in here and showing the energy of a corrupt judge? Who's showing the energy of this corrupt judge? Who is the corrupt judge? Oh, Ace of Cups. Hmm. Why do they get the Ace of Cups? The sun is in reverse. All right, let me tell you about this person. They made a mistake. They judge you do poorly. Why do they do that? Why does the Ace of Cups? Justice. That must be you. Tell me about this. Tell me about the sun in reverse. That could be a Leo. Six of Wands in reverse. They're not going to get victory. But you, my love, will get victory. Show me the energy between you. Something going on between you and this person. Four of Wands in reverse. You're not building with them. You're not even on the same page. They're corrupt. They're corrupt. Tell me. You walked away. You left. So whoever this was, they judged you harshly, but your love, your pure love and justice. Um, show me more about this person judging you wrong, correct, incorrectly. You're going to get a chance to leave this situation. They're in the Five of Swords. And you're in the Six of Swords. 
So they're leaving. This person is um, being forced out by the Most High because they're in the Seven of Swords. They're very wicked hearted. And you're in the King of Swords. So you're in your clear mind. Yeah. And uh, is this going to happen soon? Yes, no, or maybe so. Nine of Wands. You're extremely tired. It might end, this all might end in September, is what I heard. Ten of Swords in the bottom. Somebody's going to get it. And it's not you. That's the Nine of Cups. So whoever's sitting here playing judge, they're going to get it. They're going to get it. You're going to get what you need because God is on his throne. Okay? Now, when they're upright, they would be balancing justice and compassion, managing a fair distribution of power. All right? We also have shapeshifter. So the shapeshifter is projecting an image that serves only their personal goal at the moment. So obviously, this person cannot be trusted. Tell me about this shapeshifter person. Wow. Look at that, Five of Swords. They're so dishonest. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And what they do is they they use spells, words, and spirit to manipulate energies and get what they want. They gossip, backstab, they compete, they compare. They're really full of shit. Sorry, but it's true. They're trying to hide the fact that they have a broken heart. They're trying to not deal with it. Yeah, moving. Wait. Okay, show me. How does the collective fit in here? Whoa, slippery cards. You've got them blocked. You even have them spiritually blocked. Yeah, because you're in emperor territory. Who the fuck do they think they are? They're trying to get your they're trying to get your shine. You are the star. So they're trying to get your shine. You're somebody important. And they're trying to come towards you. We have a Gemini. We have a Gemini Libra Aquarius and a Cancer. The shapeshifter doing whatever they gotta do to survive. Mm-hmm. And they're not gonna get this opportunity. Six of Swords is in reverse because there's something deceitful. So they have the five and six of swords. Yeah. And whoever you are, you are the sun. You're getting healing. You could be a Leo in the public eye or a Scorpio, death card. Call judgment on them. Yep. You call judgment on this person. They're screwed. What's going to happen to them now? Well, they can't move. They want to. They're desperately stuck. They're desperately stuck because they got themselves in a pickle with their mouth and their, sh their shadiness. And I think you saw it, Collective. You're not in love with them at all. They're, that's such a shapeshifter. See, justice is in reverse for them. Yeah, but for you, you have a three of wands. So you're going to be able to move forward and leave this bullshit behind. Sorry, I'm in the mood to swear. Forgive me. Take what you need and leave the rest, babies. I'm just giving you a lovely message here. So somebody's being bullied. They conceal their, conceal their real, real feelings behind verbal and physical abuse. Some of you may be suffering physical abuse at this hand of this creep. Show me what this bully's about. Who is this bully? Show me this bully. Nine of Wands in reverse. They keep taking their burdens out on you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yep, Eight of Wands in reverse. They're not making any progress. That's a problem. Tell me more about them. Tell me about that. Tell me about this bully person. The lovers in reverse. This could be somebody you were with at some time. Yeah. It also could be a family member pulling some bullshit on you. And you're like, I got to go because you burden me too much. I don't care about the money. I don't care about the, I don't care about anything. You're not allowed to beat me. You're not allowed to talk bad about me. You're not allowed to hurt me. And you are not a soulmate. You are an insecure bully. 
they can't see what's going on with you because you're away from them. Yeah. And uh, their guard is, they're not in spiritual protection. They don't have anything to back them up in strength. And they're the prince's swords. They're the first one to come running and looking for the next person to abuse. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Yeah. Princess of Wands in reverse. They're uh, being stopped in their tracks. What about you? So, uh, the sun. You have healing coming. You're in a perfect place to heal and move on quietly. Six of Swords. And get your justice. Okay, that's the bully. They're in trouble. Who are they? Who are they predominantly? They're in really bad shape. I think it's somebody in your family. They're excessively abused. They don't have any spiritual protection because they are a bully. What they're doing is they're so insecure, they're trying to keep you down to their level. But you're not at their level at all. We have a saboteur. Now, now the bully upright, by the way, I didn't tell you, they highlight your tendency to imitate others, help you confront the inner fear. So this is someone who's helping you. If they, There could be someone that will help you with the bullying. Sabotage. They induce self-destructive behavior or the desire to undermine others. Hmm. I think most of you know about that person. Just a minute. Let me plug my phone in. Give it a nice charge, okay? So collective, we're just talking about these characters and things that you've dealt with. Who is a saboteur for my collective? Six of Cups, somebody you've known already. Sagittarius, Temperance, and the Nine of Swords. The saboteur can't get what they want. They're trying to keep you from it. Yep, they're trying to do magic in the background to sabotage your work. King of Swords in reverse, a narcissistic. Uh, individual, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and the Princess of Pentacles. They, are, uh, they could be working with somebody younger and the Queen of Wands in reverse. This is a magical, um, this is black magic. Yeah, this is black magic. Absolutely. So what's going to happen to them? They're doing black magic. Somebody you've known. Isn't that suck? I think you just decide that you don't want to be with them because, well, they do black magic, you know. Seven of Swords. What's going to happen to you? You're getting a brand new start. Zero point energy, a gift from God. You're getting a chance to, to move, to travel, to change things in your world, to communicate with people and make new friends. And business. Collective. The Hierophant. They're just trying to come at you because you actually have faith. You're probably a, a very high, powerful being. Um, God is burdening them. Yeah, he's burdening them. He's going to send the burden back to them, and he's giving you a brand new start. Yeah, you are the upright one. You deserve the favor, period. Point blank. What's going to happen? They're burdened. What's going to happen to them? They tried to put burden on you, but you, but God sent it back. They're going to remain in perpetual pain because of what they've done to you. Death cards in reverse. So this would be somebody that's trying to um, sabotage your future, and they're working with somebody else. And you're up here talking to God and relieving yourself from all this. You don't even know this is going on. Yeah. They don't have any spiritual protection, all right, the saboteur. So no matter what, you just keep your ground and <clears throat> don't worry about this. What do we have? They highlight yourself. They highlight your fear of self-empowerment and the changes it would bring into your life. So on the upright, that person that would be for you wouldn't allow that to happen. Spirit, Holy Spirit, show us the next person. We have destroyer. So the destroyer has the energy of intoxication with destructive power, destroying others' dreams or potential. What a jerk. What a spirit they have, huh? What a spirit they have. And I know many of you have dealt with all these people. I know I have. 
Tell me about this destroyer and my collective. Might not be your story. Take what you need and leave the rest, okay? Please hit the like button. Thank you if you enjoy this. By all means, subscribe and hit the all bell. Nine of Cups in reverse. God says what they wish for you, they're getting. And they have no patience. They move very quickly. They have a temper. They are not acting in love. Tell me more about this. Who is it? Scorpio. We have a Scorpio in the house that is out of alignment. Tell me why the temperance is in reverse. Because they can't come towards you to destroy what you got going on. Hey, yeah. Yeah, just, just F off, dude, whoever you are. Female. Tell me about the energy between you. I need to know. Tell me about the energy between the collectors. Holding back. No connection. No money. No energy going forward. Just nothing. Heartbreak. Sorrow. Disappointment that they're actually like that. And judgment. There will be no revival in this judgment. Nope. Ace of Cups in reverse. Princess of Swords in reverse. What's coming in for the collective after this? Wow. Three of, three of coins. Being able to rebuild and build again. Yeah. After this person. Wow. What a what an awful person. They're awful people, I guess. This is the awful people rating. I didn't mean to just dump this on you, but I wanted you to see it. Now, if this person was a builder, they would be releasing what's potentially destructive and preparing for a new life. But they're not. Last but not least, our culprits are addicts. They compromise integrity and honesty, and they allow any addictive pattern to have authority over you. Year. They want addictive patterns. They want you to be addicted with them. Because, you know, when people are going down, they like to grab other people and take them with them. Show me the addict energy and my collective. Thank you for being here. I love you guys. I've been praying really deeply. God's been waking me up like 2.30, 30 in the morning. And sometimes I don't go back to sleep and I find myself really, really working hard for a couple hours and then caulking out, and then getting up and be refreshed. All right, this addict is absolutely in spiritual jail. They're so screwed. And that breaks their heart because they don't have the power to come out of it. They don't have a connection to divinity where they could be delivered. Tell me about them. Oh, my God. They live in fear. They still have fear. They have fear. You know what it's, the Bible says? Perfect love casts out fear because fear has to do with punishment. So somebody's like repeatedly punishing themselves spiritually, you know, physically as well. Tell me more about this addict. Princess of Cups. Could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Prince of Cups, sorry. Tell me about them. They're not able to uh, sustain work. They're not focusing on themselves right now. Tell me more about them, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You might relate to some of these readings. Let me know if you'd like one. Okay, so tell me more about this this addict. What's new? What what can what can our collective expect? What can the collective expect from this addict? Six of Pentacles. They want to share their pain with you. They want to dump on you. But God won't let them. The chariots in reverse, they cannot move towards you. He has them in hermit stage, and they live in fear and darkness. Ten of Pentacles, and they're broke because of their addiction and their, and their deceit. The moon, where they're in, a, they're in a place where they can't see anything. Judgment is in reverse. God is protecting any energies from coming towards you. Three of Wands in reverse. There's no, no, there's nothing here. So you're going to be safe from this energy because while they're blocked, God is doing it this time. Good for you guys for being protected. How nice. All right. So now we've got the culprits on the table and there are more. I'd like for you to leave me a comment and tell me if you like this kind of a reading where you can see people's characters and we can break them down for you. Let me know if that works for you. What do you want to tell the collective spirit? 
Archangel Gabriel is here to help you with your stability and your root chakra, keep you safe, grounded, and stable, and instruct you as to what the most high intends for you and what you should be doing, all right? Co-creating. Um, <clears throat> They said to wait on something you're wanting to know about. Wait just a little bit. You'll get your answer. Okay. Let me see. What else do we have for my beautiful collective? Wow. You'll be surprised. There's a big opportunity coming for some of you guys. Because you live in gratitude. You have a really good attitude. And that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's exactly why they're saying this. Okay, God has something for you. He says, wait just a little bit. I'm bringing in your soulmate, the real one. Okay, you know every every true desire in my heart, oh Lord. May I, may I only wish for what you wish for me. So you're waiting, you're being instructed by Gabriel to wait and to ground yourself because you are indeed experiencing grace. You need someone who's going to show you devotion. Because you are the high lord or lady of service, you're selfless, you're humble, and you're conscious of, of these opportunities and everything that comes. You're connected to creation. You're very expressive. And Michael the Archangel would like to say to you, love, angels are sending you messages now, but you're too distracted to notice. Stay alert and open to divine guidance. Give me a minute. The word is, I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit apart from me. You can do nothing. John 15, 5. That's a message from the divine for you. Let's have a master love message for the collective. Um, I'm going to be, I think, if I feel up to it, I've been suffering the last couple of days really bad. Um, I don't know why. I do know why. I'm not going to talk about it. Just thank you for your love because I need it. All right, Holy Spirit, what is the message for my beautiful collective here? Members, subscribers, my beloved told you there was somebody. You're going through transformation. Okay, and it says, my beloved, though we're physically apart, soulmate, spiritually we're united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Keep an eye on the signs. You're going through a deep transformation. Yes, you are. All right, loves. That's what I have for you. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, sharing, of course. Um, oh, by the way, this person's going to come into your path. They're going to surprise you with a, a flirt. They're going to flirt with you. That's how you're going to know. You're going to be like, um, did I catch your eye? What? Might be somebody you ha are in the same faith with, too. Keep an eye on that. All right. All right, loves. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything. If you would like to make a donation to the channel, you can do that on any other links below. Everything is such a huge blessing. And right now, I think we're just mostly trying to stay alive, you know, and and that's good. I, I have faith that God will protect and bless and bring everything we need, but we also have to do the work. Thank you. Thank you for supporting my work. If you want to, you can join me on patreon.com. Robin's Realm Readings, and you can get in on free readings and gifts. Um, if you are Jennifer, uh, Jennifer from 108 Healing Senses, I've been kind of sick, so I didn't send out the messages, but darling, just reach out to me and tell me your questions because I want to do a reading. We can also do your reading by Zoom, okay? Anybody that wants a reading with Robin, <clears throat> please um, go ahead and request it. By email if you want, or you can go to my website and request one in my store. Just reach out to me. I mean, email me. It's 3333, and I give you the reading that you need. Not 15 minutes, not 30 minutes, not an hour. Whatever it takes to get your message complete and thorough for you and to tap into you and send you positive energy. That's all it takes. It's that easy. So... Feel free to reach out if you would like. I love you. Namaste.